following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. It doesn't matter where you're at as long as you're here at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So what do we have? Uh, S&P down one point. Uh, Dow down 132. NASDAQ up 47 although it was up about 80 earlier when I took a peek. Uh, Russell's off a point. Uh, crude oil back down a buck 50. Uh, let's see what crude is do or gold is doing now. I need to move stuff around here so I can see. Uh, gold off of $5.20 as uh, yeah, apparently they're calling all chicken Alfredo lovers. I love spam. Uh, anyway, uh, as we look at that, Earnings, for the most part, after the bell last night, uh, pretty much disappointed. Um, the question now is, you know, what do they do, it, uh, do with it during the day? And, of course, um, the big one was uh, Tesla not doing much yesterday. Let's pop that chart up. Um, at first blush... Um, after earnings, not much. After the conference call, uh, all the uh, usual suspects on uh, the street decided to uh, say that it was going to the moon, and it, you know, got up to nine hundred bucks. The question is whether or not you're going to have enough volume up here to stick. Um, you're testing a previous high of 41 million shares that goes back to january 25th 2021 the same year that we're in right now by the way if you live in lutes and 24 25 million shares and eh, could you get 30 32 you can but it's going to be light it's going to be horribly light no um and as long as probably uh gas prices are high I uh, was out, uh, I had to go uh, to the docks today, so I was out uh, most of the day. But uh, came back, uh, even uh, gas down here, 335. So I can imagine that you, it might get a little bit more action. The question is whether or not gasoline is ever allowed uh, to go back down. Uh, it's artificially high right now. Uh, because of uh, government, but they're always in it, either trying to keep it low or trying to, depending on which side you're on, drive it up to uh, exorbitant prices beyond those of market forces, whether it's uh, the OPEC or uh, environmental concerns uh, here in the United States. Anyway, uh, 6.4 billion shares, which is okay, um, but uh, not a real signal, uh, either strong or weak, on volume so far during the day. The other thing I'm keeping a very close eye on, of course, is this TLT. Um, they did get it up to 143.15. It's back down to 142.57. Um, you know, we're very close to being able to break this market. Um, so we'll keep an eye on it. Um, but you know what? I it's just almost unfathomable to me that the market doesn't break and break hard once everybody figures out there isn't a whole lot of stuff to sell for Christmas uh, besides uh, probably a, a lump of coal. That's probably what's going to be in many, many stockings this fall. Um, but uh, that's it. we got a question already, or a couple of questions already, so we'll take a look. Uh... <laughs> um, Trump media came in with a SPAC. I did not look at it. Okay, DWAC. Um, yeah, I saw somebody 
put that in the den. I didn't know what it was. Um, I'm not a chaser ever, but yeah, digital world acquisitions. Yeah. Uh, I can say that uh, if you think uh, Twitter is worth 65 bucks and you think uh, Facebook is worth uh, 300 and change, um, that yeah, there's probably a market for this company, digital world acquisition, kind of a, my understanding is this is going to be the uh, free world or the uh, free speech isn't it called supposed to be called truth or something i haven't i've been working on something else i have not looked at it um uh, that closely um i'm always one to let the dust settle a little, little bit generally on these uh but no i would not be chasing it up 32 bucks on the day uh, but that's it uh, i tried to short to hit nine new shirts available to borrow <laughs> Yeah, and uh, the high of the day, uh, 51.90. So that's always interesting. But uh, no, I'm not a big chaser out there. And like I said, I I don't know what's inside of it. I just saw the headlines. I wasn't easy to chase it down. Uh, there's uh, always an alternative. Um, I've always said that the, probably the worst thing that Twitter, Facebook, and some of the others have done is leave the uh, door open uh, generally, when you do that, the wrong dog comes in. So uh, we'll keep an eye on that. Got a couple of minutes left. I uh, want to do a little history, and then we'll move on to some charts that I have been looking at today. Uh, but it's all just a little history repeating and a little rhyming, more rhyming than repeating. Then it's all just a little bit of history repeating. <laughs> Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I don't believe anything anybody says. Anybody. I, everybody is wrong. That's my first default position. Anyway, uh, on today, let's get to it here if I can find my mouse pointer. On uh, this day in 1805, in one of the most dis uh, de uh, decisive natal, uh, naval, naval batteries in history, he said, a uh, British fleet under Admiral Lord Nelson defeats a combined French and Spanish fleet at the Battle of Trafalgar, fought off the coast of Spain. And, of course, during this time, uh, um, we had uh, uh, the French war going on. And uh, they were regularly getting their clocks cleaned uh, on land. But uh, on sea, the uh, French, uh, along with uh, the uh, was it, a dictator or king, I don't know enough about that war. Anyway, uh, the war between the French and the English uh, uh, with the, the guy with the hand in his uh, vest always. Uh, anyway, they uh, had a big fight. Um, they ended up losing zero ships, uh, but uh, about 1,500 dead on the English side. They literally destroyed just everything uh, that... Uh, uh, that the Spanish have, and uh, that was about it. That really was the deciding factor in that war when they couldn't invade England and push for their force uh, anymore. Uh, that was back when England ruled the seas. There's a great movie, too. We'll talk about it when we return. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500 plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. get a snack in here if i have time really to get to lunch uh flat on the s p cash so uh you can say what you want about that uh anyway uh first uh, another question not the first but a second question out here uh is uh um gdx wow I think I just deleted it. Sorry about that. I don't know who it's from. Question just about GDX out here. You're still above the uh, uh, three by three uh, displaced moving average, so it looks fine. You just don't have, I haven't spent a lot of time looking at it because you don't have a lot of range out here, 30 to 32. Um, you know, it is a profit, but other things are moving a lot quicker. I'm looking for a lot bigger range. Um, so not much going on there. Okay. Yeah, okay. So we got that. Um, we talked about uh, AMT yesterday. I think we got to that. Uh, oh, did have a few more questions in here this morning about what we were talking about yesterday with uh, uh, 5G Internet for just on, uh, talking about technology for us traders, not whether you want to invest in it or not. Um and what I was talking about, and that is, you never know when uh, the uh, Spectrum guys around here are going to come uh, in and uh, unhook something and you're down for <clears throat> an hour uh, for Internet. And if you just need to make a trade, you can use your phone. Uh, it's more problematic when you have uh, a show to do like us. So I've been looking at that. <clears throat> they make a thing called a load balancing router. Uh, that you can hook into do different internet uh, connections. And if I had one with Spectrum and I had one with uh, this uh, T-Mobile thing, it may be a great thing. Then, you know, if one goes down, I've, I instantly have the other, and it always goes to the one that's fastest. So uh, actually a fairly interesting thing for a load balancing router, which is about 100 bucks. I want to get one with the Wi-Fi built into it. I all, everything is hardwired except my phone. 
So I'm not a big fan of using Wi-Fi inside the house. If I can run a uh, 100 base T or 1,000 base T to it, but that's it. So uh, not much going on that. Anyway, American Tower up again today. Yeah, it's just, I think, you know, you got three days of declining volume. That kind of tells you that you're getting pretty close to some resistance out there. Long term, uh, that looks good. Got a question on uh, CBTC. I don't have it. It's over the counter. Um, I don't make any predictions on uh, that technical analysis for stocks that are uh, that have about less than 300,000 shares average, and um, especially those on the over-the-counter. I don't know how you even start to trade them. Uh, they're just, you know, that's just one that I don't want to even get involved with. Uh, so I stay away from it. Um, away from low-volume stocks and away from over-the-counter stuff. Uh, it's almost, I'd say the odds of it being a fraud Every time someone brings one up to me is at least 50 cents or 50 percent. So I'm not a big fan. Uh, two, two, two. OK. Uh, yeah. Great. The unit. I don't know how to even bring it up uh, again. I stay away from them. OK. Uh, question yesterday about Mint Mobile. I just use that myself coverage it's not for uh internet although i get internet for it but it's actually fairly cheap at 200 bucks a year with four gigs a, uh, a, a month and i'm generally sitting here in front of these screens i don't need lots of uh, uh gigabytes when i'm gone so uh eh, not much going on there okay so we got that uh okay. Let's see what else um I had some other stocks I wanted to look at real quick. Uh, yeah, be nice, wouldn't it? Be nice to be able to get both sides of the story. You can go to whoever you want to go to. You can go to Facebook or whatever this new thing is called. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Yeah, we got a lot of stocks that are just looking like maybe they're a little tired out here today. Uh, eh. Got a couple that were in gold. This first majestic um, looks like yeah, you made just a penny or two higher in, in that right now. So there's not much going on in that AI. I wouldn't short it, but eh, it looks like maybe it's just needs to consolidate some winnings. Uh, uh, let's see if there's anything else out in here. Uh, this one is interesting. Uh, Arcos Dorados. A-R-C-O. Uh, kind of the same volume out here. This is the McDonald's of South America, isn't it? Pretty sure that's what this is. So look at it. Uh, franchise McDonald's restaurants, uh, yeah. The company has exclusive rights to own, operate, and grant franchises of McDonald's restaurant in 20 countries and territories in Latin America and the Caribbean. Although I've never seen one in the Caribbean. I've seen uh, McDonald's everywhere else, but uh, not one of those. Uh, anyway, um, kind of interesting. Maybe beef prices, driving it back down here. Volume is, eh, not a big deal from yesterday, but... It's hard for me to sell, say that uh, McDonald's in Latin American countries is that bad off. Bad off but eh, it's at least back to support uh, $4.40, $4.35 uh, is where you'd want to pick that up if it continues with light volume. Uh, ASG, Liberty All-Star Growth Fund. Uh, Black Lion. I had a bunch of these. Ballad Power. Um, looking at this one to see whether it could continue. Like I said, these things have kind of been working out with a lighter volume on the way back up. Um, you know, a nice pop off of $12.78 up to $17 here today. Uh, Blue. Bluebird Bio. 
Uh, this could get back up again. Generally, these things will fill uh, after time will continue to fill about half the gap that exists in one. So, yeah, maybe you could get uh, 23, 2350 out of this if it continues higher. Uh, BNS, this is the Bank of Nova, Nova Scotia. Uh, interesting to me because uh, it's up against uh, light volume uh, at the 66.49 high back here on June 2nd. Um, with one and a half million shares, you got about 500,000 shares. Uh, today, went just a little higher. You had a million shares yesterday. So, yeah. 500,000 shares, 33% light. It's a lot of things coming. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And as we're back, um, what else do we have here? And we're up one point on the S&P cash. Uh, okay, TLT is still there. Uh, question uh, coming in from Hector. Uh, oh, that's another one. Okay. Uh, do you have uh, time to read the report on uh, Lamb? 
Um, no, generally I do those over the weekend. Um, I kind of look at the notes already. Um, uh, but, uh, yeah, the gap down, uh, you know, just from a chart basis, this doesn't look as bad as one would think. Um, when I see these gaps, and you had this gap here today, when I see these gaps, I really just start being greedy and wanting it to come back to about 510. That'll be about halfway into this gap for March 8th. When you get this close, um, you know, sometimes you don't get it, but I just move on. There's always another trade somewhere else to be had. Uh, let's take a quick look at the SMHs here. And this is really back on light volume uh, back here on the gap down of uh, September 28th. You had 5.6 million shares up uh, today on 1.2 million shares. So it yeah, were pr probably about as good as it gets. Not surprising to see the market just go sideways out here. Uh, if we're going to get a big signal, uh, probably not today. Uh, probably be at the close tomorrow. Uh, if we see the market, but uh, I'm always just thinking that eventually everybody is going to figure out there's going to be a big problem uh, with the uh, supply chain and it will actually bite us. Uh, but uh, market's kind of eh, just ignoring it at the moment. Uh, my guess is that they won't be able to ignore it for forever. The question is when it comes in. Uh, okay, we got some more questions. Uh, TWTR, another question about uh, now that there's uh, some kind of competition. There was before, um, but certainly um, you, I, I could imagine that Twitter, Facebook, and some of these other folks could lose a lot of, it, of business. Um, you know, before there was just... Uh, MSNBC and then Fox came along, I think, in 1992. Is that right? 1990? 1992? It's been 20 years, right? So what would that be? Eh, later. Um, and they have about half the market of the three big cable broadcasters. Uh, I would imagine you could, you know, if they do the same kind of thing, you could see a fairly decent move uh, out of those as they lose business. Um, don't know how good it is. Uh, like I said, haven't taken a look at it. Um, Facebook back up to about 340. Um, to me, Facebook has a lot of people that just can't leave. Probably a little less susceptible. Uh, Twitter, it's over, right? Um, I don't know how they don't do anything but sell off for a while. Uh, there's a book, it was written, and I read it, I don't know, three years ago or four years ago about causing fights and what people show up for on these sites. And uh, um, there's the old saying in the newspapers, uh, dog bites man, you know, goes on page 15. Uh, my, man bites dog goes to page, page one above the fold. And um, a lot of people just go to these sites to be... Uh, ticked off or uh, re-enforce uh, their uh, beliefs already. And my guess is that uh, of the two, uh, Facebook probably hurt a little bit. Twitter probably hurt a great deal. Uh, Trump was one of his their biggest draws, uh, and now he has his own platform. So what can you say? I think it will be eventually. Uh, Twitter's always the one that never quite monetized what they did, uh, didn't have the spread of Facebook uh, with its own ad business. I've always thought that it was the uh, weak horse of those. Uh, Snap, uh, to, to, to take a quick look at that, uh, down a little bit. Uh, you know, this thing had quite the run from 15 bucks up to 83 bucks over time. So I wouldn't be surprised if this goes a little farther. Probably the best thing about Snap is they're going to avoid a great deal of the antitrust stuff. Um, we know both Amazon and Facebook have been caught in lies in front of Congress on what they've been doing. 
the Indian documents for uh, Amazon are devastating uh, for what uh, he, he and others from the Amazon said about what they were doing. It's pretty uh, blatant uh, with that evidence. Um, so the antitrust stuff probably going to go along. Uh, you want to be on the odd man out on that one, but not right now. I think uh, sport comes in right around 70, and I would look at it that. 877-927-6648. What else do we have here? Old Dominion? Yeah, I had seen that around here. Um Freight lines, yeah, they're just, uh, uh, at one point, you're going to break, but, uh, yeah, you gotta, you got to look at uh, a lot of truck drivers, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, what can you say? As long as there continues to be a backlog, there's going to be more uh, supply, no, more demand than supply for trucking. You've got all those still need to, to get off the uh, docks. So, um, you know, don't have a lot of volume. This may be fairly richly apprised right now, but uh, a great move higher. Yeah, Bill, uh, that's a good looking one. Uh, okay. Okay. And I think that gets through the rest of them. Uh, okay. Got about a minute left. Uh, to, to, to CRM. Uh, Salesforce. Uh, looks like it may have made uh, kind of a slow uh, a, a interim top. Uh, support comes in at about 262 on this. Got to 295. Never really had a lot of juice after the gap up on the uh, 23rd and 24th of September. Uh, went up very uh, light volume. It looks like it needs to come back at least to 270. Uh, ideally, 262.50 would be uh, where this came back on light volume if you wanted to go long it. Uh, Data Dog, another one that looks like maybe uh, it's ready to top out. Just no volume today, like a lot of other stocks. 800,000 shares today. They had six, uh, almost 6 million shares back on the 13th. Uh, fairly light since then, especially the last couple of days. We'll be back in a minute. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. And as we come back, uh, keep an eye on it. Just a uh, very flat market. Don't see a lot going on out here. Uh, probably actually a little bullish uh, in that we had a lot of disappointing uh, news, but uh, at least for earnings. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, I think we've got a couple more. Oh, what I go through the TLT? Uh, okay. Anyway, we looked at uh, Data Dog when we went, but man, just light volume here. Uh, TLT. Uh, we had our bounce. We're coming back to this uh, gap. There isn't a lot of juice out here, but my guess is we continue, or my prognostication is that we get back down to this gap. Uh, that goes back, that's acted as support and resistance before uh, on the, uh, what is this, uh, June 8th of the TLT. Uh, that's it. Um, yeah. Okay. What do we have here? Yeah. I mean, you don't have a lot of volume today, but again, it's kind of flat. Uh, kind of surprising if we don't get a really big bounce tomorrow with the Fed juice that normally comes in on Thursday. Uh, I'm looking for this to go to that 139 fairly quickly early next week. And that may be uh, the final straw that breaks the camel's back on uh, this market trying to push higher. So I don't see much in that. Um, let's see what else we have. GME, GameStop. Uh, I mean, it basically had a couple of nine days up and a couple back days down. There isn't a whole lot in this. Of course, it's just a fight between longs and shorts. Uh, there's no chart that really matters or uh, uh, a lot of other stuff. It's just uh, uh, eh, a battle of will. Goldman Sachs up on eh, kind of sideways action most of these days, but up $19.19 for the BDC from Goldman Sachs. Let's see if there's anything else in my list here that I thought was interesting. Da, 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 da. Oh, I haven't looked at Kodak for a long time. Remember this is a uh, thing took off, um, came back down to earth. There was insider trading and everything else. This is uh, actually eh, starting to consolidate out. I don't know if there are any reason to be long this thing. On a chart basis, uh, yeah, it's holding seven fairly well. Okay, other things I wanted to take a look at. Packaging of America. We talked about how international paper wasn't looking uh, uh, that good. Um, you got some high volume still on this. You need the 132.10. And, of course, packaging companies are the most important uh, for the canary in the coal mine if you're looking at what's going on in the uh, – uh, at least in the United States, because without that, nothing's going out the door if they don't have the packaging to put it in. Uh, but uh, is it horrible looking? No. 
volume a little high back at that low suggests you are going to test the 132.10. You'd like it uh, to just go ahead and test that 129.79. Uh, that is back from t -t 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 July 19th. <coughs> so, uh, eh. I don't think I'd do anything until it got back. I mean, you kind of got into that candle. Uh, the high of that uh, day was uh, 133.16, so you got into it with you know a little more volume. So you really need to test 129.79 on this, but that may actually make a, uh, at least for the more industrial part of the markets, uh, uh, make it interesting. What else do we have? Uh, Sophie? I know everybody's been talking about that. You got a doji out here today. Um, and uh, they call them a little tombstones out here. Uh, you got to 21.77. Eh, come back to about 20.50. Probably wouldn't be a big deal. You're a little under, what, 20? What are you at now? 20.91. Um, yeah. Does it break anything? No. Move on. Of course, uh, tan. Another one that had been on a rip with uh, uh, the energy stocks. This is the solar investment. Really going sideways for three days. Hasn't closed under the three by three yet, so no real signal. Uh, just really light volume in this one, which is actually probably a little bullish in this one. You had uh, 2.6 million shares on the 19th. You've got uh, 600,000 shares on what's really just kind of a sideways move. Just continues to see. Uh, what uh, fuel prices do. Uh, Teneris um, really kind of coming up and testing the previous uh, 2.6 million share high on June 2nd. Uh, TS is symbol on this one. 2403 with 2.6 million shares. You almost got there yesterday with 1.4 million shares. Really getting a reversal on volume back here today. You haven't broken anything yet to give you a bigger signal. 877-927-6648. Okay. Other ones out here that are on my list. Twilio. Um, again, light volume. Yeah, you probably get as about as much as you can on this move. Probably. TWLO's uh, a symbol on this one. Uh, you got about half the volume you had yesterday on a doji. Uh, about half the volume of the day before. About half the volume of the day before that. Um, you know, you had a nice uh, uh, 2.3 million share a day on the 14th uh, with a gap up. But uh, it's kind of come back. Looks to me like this probably wants to come back to about uh, 352, 353-ish. Uh, maybe even 355-ish. Uh, and that's where you would want to take a look at it, but it looks a little way. Uh, Wix, uh, I always think this is a, the uh, company that makes uh, air filters and oil filters, but not. This is the uh, company that makes uh, kind of roll your own websites. Um, and kind of a big day, a little up, a little bit back down. Uh, but again, not a lot more volume out here. Uh, WSM, William Sonoma on the last of the list of stuff I wanted to get to, has just made it way its way back up to this big gap. Uh, if I was looking for a short, this actually looks pretty good. Uh, down on the 30th of September with 2.2 million shares. Uh, you had uh, 570,000 shares yesterday. You got 290,000 shares now. Um, I'm unsure when earnings comes on this. But I'm thinking it comes up here. Let's take a quick look. WSM showing uh, 21st. So it must be after the bell tonight, right? I wonder uh, we got light volume. But uh, right against resistance. Uh, let's take a quick look at that and make sure. Double check. Trust but verify. Always that way. Uh, okay. So that's uh, WSM. We get ready to come to the break. Oh, I'm showing November 24th. Huh. Okay, you got a little while there. I'm glad I double checked. I don't know why that's wrong. 877 927 6648. You've got uh, time for a quick two minute call if you want.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN. Also, a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And we're back um, along the uh, lines of uh, uh, Williams-Sonoma. Uh, Sherwin-Williams looks kind of the same way. The energy up off the lows mostly happened in the first couple of days off that 272 low. Um, but you can see the volume just really deteriorating as time goes along uh, since that low. Uh, it's got about three days to cover. You're halfway into an existing gap. Uh, 305.62. Um, don't know what it does, but uh, I think it's got earnings. This one does, doesn't it? SHW. Uh, October 26. So you got uh, about five days to earning. That's the big part that's painful because generally they don't sell it off until you get the actual word. So it may be a little bit uh, early. I'd probably wait till earnings day and see what the options are. But um, certainly from a chart pattern basis, uh, looks rather weak. Both of those do. Um, I would say that when we look at the numbers from last, was it last week? Yeah, last uh, Thursday, Friday. What was it, last Thursday? Uh, when the housing numbers came in really weak, probably a sign that uh, there's problems. But 
volume decreasing all the way off the high volume low, which has never been tested, that 272.01. Uh, so that would be your target, a nice range of about 30, 32 bucks on that. Uh, but uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, almost everything is holding up right into uh, earnings. So you don't get a lot of uh, people running early from those. Um, yeah. Anyway, sell when you can, not when you have to. We'll see you here tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time. Mm -hmm.